you grew up in the Midwest, you've most likely had the chance to ride a horse. Horses have been helping humans for thousands of years. Today, the animals are even being used to help people overcome fears, build self-esteem, and boost confidence. Mary Lund is with Spurs Therapeutic Riding Center. She's here to share how horses are helping people with special needs in Kelloland. Thanks so much, Mary. Welcome. Thank you very much. So explain a little bit more about this and how you're using horses to help people with special needs. Well, we, our clientele are people with disabilities and we use the horses for a variety of reasons, one of which is riding the horse works all of your muscles, so it really helps with uh, strength and b uh, balancing, and um, uses, strengthens your core. Um, it's fun, they enjoy it, it's therapy on horseback. I mean, as, a, as an instructor, I'm not technically doing therapy, however, we do have physical therapists and, who come and, and do therapy on our, with our horses and our students. And this is located in Aberdeen? It is. Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to get that part across, but let's get into the therapeutic part about this because some people might be afraid of horses. Sometimes it's a fear to get on a horse and ride one. So how does this offer a s source of therapy? Well, we do have students who come scared of the horses, and it may take, some of them come with school groups, and it may take them weeks before they're willing to get on, but we will have them touch the horse if they're willing, maybe brush the horse from on top of the ramp where they don't actually have to touch it. Um, we don't force them to get on. If they, are in, if they want to get on, you know, we, we encourage, but we'd never force them to get on. And eventually, most of them get on and enjoy it. Some, have, some do groundwork um, is with the horses instead of getting on because they're happy to be with the horses and lead them, but they don't want to actually be on the horse. Um, so we, we kind of like to take it along where the students' goals are and work with their fear. We had one student who, it took three years, coming with a school group before he ever got on, and now it's hard to get him off. So, But so. what, oh my gosh, what a great thing, yeah. going through that for three years and then just getting to watch that moment of him getting on the horse for the first time. Yeah. Um, but let's talk a little bit more about, so this is for children and adults with disabilities. Yes. Now, does this cover a wide variety of disabilities? Yes, we have many, many ty different types of disabilities that we have students that have. Um, if, it's not a, if it's not a contraindication, which is, means that, that it's not safe for them to ride because either uh, spinal fusions or things like that, um, then they don't get to ride. But if it's safe for them and the doctors certify that it's safe, then we, we have riders who start at two years old with a physical therapist. And my oldest one I had last year, I think, was 70, and everybody wow. in between. So. That is amazing. Let's go through the benefits a little bit more for therapeutic riding. We have a graphic to pull up and just how using this as a program for people with disabilities, how this helps them. Well, our students, yes, the boosting self-esteem and the confidence, for them to be able to have no control over anything in their life, to be able to control or at least influence a 1,000-pound or 1,200-pound horse gives them great boost of, uh, I can do something sort of a thing. Um, improving coordination because we use, we have most of our students use two hands on the reins and they have to use their hands correctly, you know, both hands correctly in order to guide the horse. Um, problem solving skills, well that's, you know, how do you get the horse to do this if he's resisting? Um, empathy, impulse and uh, control. We have sidewalkers when they have impulse control problems. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, because our sidewalkers' his job is they help with the balance, they help keep them on, they help them teach those tasks that we're teaching them, and they keep them from jumping off. <laughs> so. so how do you work with the individuals during this program? Is it always one-on-one, -on -one, or how do you ensure that you know everything is safe and they're getting what they can out of this program? Well, all of our students start with a horse handler. That's a person who's horse experienced and leads the horse during the class. Um, many of them have sidewalkers whose job, as I just uh, said, is you know, to help them learn what we're trying to teach them. We usually have three to, three to four students in a class, occasionally less, but usually three to four. Uh, so it can take a team of up to 12 volunteers for four students. Uh, the instructor is in charge for, uh, of yeah, everybody's safety, and so um, we have to always be looking for making sure that the horses are being cooperative or the student is not having a problem balancing or seizures or anything like that. So, and then we teach uh, according to where the student's goals are and abilities. Okay. My goal is always to help them to grow to their ability and work around their disabilities. So, Okay, so how many kids do you think you serve a year then? Um, it's, uh, we've had 120, I'm not sure how many last year, but up to 120 at least most every year. 
Okay, after doing some research on the website as well, I came across part of it, um, reading about the therapeutic part of this, and there was the hippotherapy. Mm. So can you just explain a little bit more into detail about what that is? Well, hippo stands for, is, means horse and therapy, uh, of course. we. We have physical therapists in, in the industry. There are occupational therapists and speech language pathologists who bring their students to centers um, to use the movement of the horse to help them to um, learn to use their body better, to walk better, uh, to verbalize better, um, a small, small motor things, which is occupational therapists, and they also work with a lot of autism. They use the motion of the horse to help their students, you know, the rhythmic motion, especially the more the autistic ones, but the small, fine motor things with the reins and things like that. Do so. you have an example of how this can help a student verbalize better? Well, we have had a variety of students who come without any speech, and I always teach them some basic sign language, basic horse sign language, and when they give the sign, then the horse moves, or, you know, to, uh, we teach them walk, trot, and stop for sign language. And um, usually they don't want to say stop, but you know, when, they, when they ask for the horse to move with their hands, then the horse moves. Um, when they ask for the horse to trot with the sign language, the horse moves. Eventually, we find that they start trying to say the word to go, to walk, you know, to trot, because that's fun. And so it encourages them to try to make those, sound, or make those sounds worth, worthwhile for them. So how do the horses know these signs? Well, the horses don't, but the horse handler does. The horse handler does, okay. yes. Although our horses do know, they don't know the sign language, but they do know the words for walk and trot and woe. Okay. So. And just real quick, we're running out of time, but I want to ask you, because you were talking to me earlier, and you've rode horses your entire life. What do you feel when you're on top of a horse? When the horse and you are, co are working well together, it's almost like a dance. It can be exhilarating. It, it can be relaxing. It can be just a sense of accomplishment because the horse has learned, we've learned how to do something new together, that sort of thing. So I love it. Thank you so much for coming in today and sharing Thank this with us. Thank you very us. much. To learn about volunteer opportunities with Spurs Therapeutic Riding Center, you can visit the organization website at spursaberdeen.org or give them a call at 605-226-1099. You can also like them on Facebook at SpursTRC.